Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Well, there's enough news out there to fill about 65 libraries, but we'll just try to stick to the technicals today if we possibly can. Uh, folks, if you um, look at ABCDs, I've just posted one, you can see the uh, Dow E-mini has completed its ABCD pattern. I think that's uh, uh, important because if you believe in ABCDs and you're short, this is where you should be covering. I know it's, it's hard because you think it's going to go down forever, but uh, if you believe in ABCDs, now the ABCD on the uh, Dow Jones, um, so let's try it again, Larry, the ABCD on the E-mini S&P comes in at a little bit different price than we have at the, oh, shut the front door, Larry, don't tell me, don't do this to me, don't do this to me, not good, not good. Oh, uh, I forgot it. Doggone it. Anyway, um, <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, it comes in at 25.55. That's what I have listed. I saw someone post at 25.49, so that's uh, pretty close. So watch that. You're banking in uh, the. Uh, index for the New York Stock Exchange index is down there, and I believe, I believe the number on the Dow Jones and the, on the original, um, on the actual index itself, not just the E mini futures, is at 22,000 and change, as I recall. It's uh, very, very close to that level. I know that. I'm not. 100%. I know it's 22,000 and something, so watch that. That'll be down about a little more than a 1,200 or something like that, so uh, pay uh, sort of close attention to it. Uh, also, those of you that uh, follow uh, the gold and silver, uh, uh, those just take a quick look here at the silver market here. You'll be able to see. Okay, let's get this up here. You'll see this is the silver. Notice how we hit the 61% uh, retracement, then we rallied a buck and a half, and boom, look where we are now. We're heading down at least another dollar uh, uh, an ounce, it looks like it. Now, the gold, uh, we recommended, we've been talking about the bearish side of gold for quite some time here. And uh, yesterday in the video that I sent out, I recommended, you know, that we probably ought to take a sh shot on the short side up there at that 1666, 1670 level. And we got as high as 1669. Um, and that target measures to uh, 1606. So that's where uh, we would be covering that. So I would be covering that gold. The other one that's interesting, folks, is you realize that uh, the heating oil and the gasoline are falling out of bed and the, well, it was a little while ago, but the, the actual uh, price of the, uh, let's see if it's still holding up. Yeah, it's still holding up. The uh, the crude oil itself is setting at 3064, and so it's actually holding up. Remember, we had a low at, uh, you know, 2770 the other day, so it's staying way above that, which is kind of a surprise. And the other one that's that's super interesting is the old Bondolis. Boys and girls, you, you think we got trouble in the stock market? Shut the front door and raise the rent. Let me, let me uh, give you a little bit of... Of, uh, well, I give you my two cents worth. What the heck? It ain't going to cost much. <laughs> Overpriced at that. This is what a uh, this is what the old flying Melinda looks like. This is the TLT. Uh, those of you that uh, remember on that day here, we were three times the old record volume, uh, which was quite large, and that was the big ABCD. And we recommended that you know maybe take a look at the put side of those, and whether whether that means anything or not, I don't know. But we'll keep watching here. So that's it. Remember the. 
the bond market, folks, is about six times bigger than the uh, rest of the markets, and uh, we'll see, you know, what happens. Um, today could be a really watershed day in the stock market, and if it happens, most probably the boys are going to pull the plug just like they did in um, night in the, uh, in September of 2001. And if it gets real crazy, what they'll do is they'll shut the market down for four, for five or six days. It's in the Constitution that we can't be shut more than four days. So that's because of the federal, you know, the banking system and stuff. So yeah, we might do that. And you know, and everybody's going to say, you know, it's related to, uh, you know, the virus and stuff. But frankly, folks, you know, we've lost a lot of people to the flu uh, already, and this is the, the, this is the epitome of. Um, uh, of just over overdoing it. I know it's I know it's bad, but it, it's they're really overdoing it now. And this is hey, this is my opinion, and I'll just shut up and move on. Tell you a few other things. S several things that I oh we got Rich coming on at the first break, Arch Crawford at the second break. So we want to cover that. A few things are a little bit different. If you'll take a look at the uh, this VIX index that we watch. And remember, those of you that have been following me all along, I said from the beginning, about a year ago, I said, buy volatility, I said, because we're going to see it huge. You know, sometimes when it stayed around 12, I said, you know, just buy that and hold it. Keep it as a pet. You know, put it in your refrigerator. Do something with it. Anyway, but if you look at that, that is really, uh, that's pretty big. But look, look at the difference here compared to the financial meltdown that we had in 2008 when we hit 89 on the VIX index. We're only, we're only trading up here in the 60s, 65 or something today, I believe. Uh, and so it's still relatively. The other thing is the currencies are not going crazy. The Japanese yen, which is the risk on, risk off, it's not acting that bullish. I mean, it's had the heck of a run and it didn't do anything, but, uh, you know, it's not going crazy. Uh, the treasury bonds, you know, they can just barely, um, you know, they've, they've dropped 15 handles down from the high and only been able to rally back four or five, I mean, that's that's not really super bullish, you know, so uh, pay, pay attention to that. Uh, well, I, I, that's my two cents worth. And I wanted to share uh, one other chart that is interesting to me. Just give you an idea here, folks. Here is, here's the gasoline contract today. And uh, we're, we're down at 96 right now. I was just told that it just hit 96. And remember now, the crude oil is not taking out the lows of 27.70 as of yet. So that may mean something. So I'm just giving you little bits and pieces. The reason why I'm saying this is that we've got a big ABCD here. And if you like ABCDs and you like the work of Harold McKinley Gartley, he said, buy the big ABCD corrections in a bull market. And you can say, this is a ABCD correction. The $64 question is, is it still a bull market? And that, my boys and girls, we will know sometime in the near future. Today is a very important day. Uh, everybody has dates in their life that they remember. You, you don't know who this is, but on March the 16th of 19, I think it was 1991 or, yeah, somewhere around in there, um, uh, Gene Klein passed away. He owned the San Diego Chargers. He was a big account at uh, Drexel Burnham. It was not my account, but uh, I was fortunate enough to hire uh, Connie Klein when I first went to work for Drexel. Um, all the Drexel secretaries uh, and associates were that worked for the brokers. I'll, I'll cover this after Rich is done. 877-927-6648. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today, and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Oh, I was telling a story about when I first went to work for Drexel. I was sitting in the office on my first day, and they said, well, you know, we've uh, selected a secretary to work with you, uh, and uh, hopefully it'll work out. If not, you, you can change. And in walks this uh, girl from uh, Beverly Hills, 90210. Uh, oh, my goodness. Connie was uh, five foot nine. An absolute beautiful girl. Her personality was twice as much. She had a personality like Don Rickles. She was just incredibly smart. She had born with a silver spoon or platinum spoon in her mouth and grew up. Uh, her her godfather was uh, Gene Roddenberry. Anyway, uh, she was my secretary for many years and became very, very close to my, my daughters who were in her wedding party. Uh, her father passed away today um, on March the 16th. I believe it was 91. It was after the it was during the, the Drexel bankruptcy, but uh, a few years after that, uh, uh, Connie woke up one morning and died just sitting at the bricks breakfast table. So, there, but hey, we got a we got a caller on the line. Uh, Rich Anderson, are you there? Yeah, I thought you were talking about my assistant Elaine. Oh yes, I, I remember that one. Boy, oh, boy. Yeah, we 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 we've uh, we've got lucky on both of those. Hey, Rich, yeah. tell us what the heck's going on in the world, will you, buddy? When are we going to open these futures? What's going I'm, on? Know, I, I just real simply, last week I talked about there are three stages to this deal. One was the supply shock, and you know we saw little ripples of it with you know Apple might not get some parts. Then there's the demand shock, and then there's the credit shock. Mm -hmm. Well, all of a sudden, because of this oil war, they're all being compressed, and, it, and it's just overnight sudden economic halt. And you, you, you need dramatic action, 
lowering interest rates, you know, that penalizes the saver. What they've done, Lagarde in the ECB today announced that they're going to have a dual interest rate system there. And they're going to basically be the bank of last resort. And they're going to be lowering the capital coverage ratios, the LCRs is what they're called, so that the banks have more ability to lend. But basically, the ECB bank that backs up everybody, kind of like our Federal Reserve does here. And it, it's a big problem. We, we know from China that the only way to, to stop this, this virus, which is up until this morning's headlines, some people didn't necessarily think was a big deal, like the NBA, but they finally turned the lights on at the NBA. NHL's probably going to turn the lights on. Mm-hmm. You, you've, yeah. you've got a quarantine, and that's, that, that just stops the economy. In Italy right now, the only thing that's open are drugstores and, and grocery stores. Everything else is, has to be closed. You know, mm-hmm. that's, that's a huge hit, and we're going to need to take care of everybody. We're going to need to take care of the popcorn sellers that aren't going to get to sell at the, you know, the NCAAs, et cetera. You know, mm-hmm. and Richard, so the Democrats okay. and Republicans have to get together, and they got to put a package, a fiscal package together. You know, the, you know, they made a cottage industry out of criticizing everything that the president's done over the last three years. And now it's time everybody gets together. This morning, I listened to the opposition leader of the, the of England, and they gave him a chance to, to knock Boris Yeller. You know Johnson, but he said no. You know we're all in it together, and I, we completely support everything he's done. You know, mm-hmm. obviously they they don't agree on everything, but they know that it's time. You know, this is a war we're fighting. It's a war against the drug. The clarity will come when we have therapeutics that work. The Koreans are working on a malaria drug that seems to have some efficacy. Uh, some of our uh, Pharmaceutical companies in this country are working on stuff, and then, but the vaccines are going to take a year to 18 months, and we can't allow this sudden halt to our economy to cripple us economically for the next 10 years. So the politicians have to get it together, and you know they don't understand necessarily, in, you know, in recent. They, but the, the three things that occurred were the carry trade went away, the pile put went, went, went away, and the buybacks were the, mm-hmm. the thing under the markets. And they mm-hmm. so prices may not yeah. necessarily have the cash. Hey, Rich, we're asked by uh, uh, Mr. Z if uh, there's a chance that the exchanges uh, might be closing like we did in 9-11. W- what's your odds on that? I do not believe that that will occur. They, they're going to go all electronic because, you know, you just can't afford to have staff being exposed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But uh, I, do not, I do not see that happening. I, no, okay. I, I don't see that happening. And, and I told you this morning that I'm looking at retracement levels from 09 to, to this year's highs. Mm-hmm. And knowing these targets the most important thing is the path of how it's going to take to get there. And that's where you come in because that's the only way to make money. Well, sometimes, yeah. Well, it's uh, we've got a big ABCD here in the uh, thing, but this is the first time we've really been locked down for quite a while. I guess it's been an hour or two that it hasn't trade, right? Yeah. Right. Uh, but we asked I a think question the here. 38% is what I'm looking at. You know, I'm looking at the yeah. 38% retracement from – and I think that's down at 23.35. And mm-hmm. things are just happening, you know, they're happening at jet speed. But mm-hmm. the, the EU is today making a dual interest rate level. I think that's going to help them out. But we, if we allow all these small and, and medium-sized companies to go under, it's going to mm-hmm. it, be like the 30s. And, and this is true mm-hmm. in China because the yep. small and the medium-sized companies can employ the most people. It's true yeah. everywhere. Yeah, hopefully we'll get through it. I'm, this is what the 
like the old Chinese curse. We live in interesting times. Rich, remember back in the old days, back in uh, 87, you know, October 19th and 20th, we were trading, but we weren't trading the, the futures uh, for the S&P anymore because the spreads were five and 10 points. And that was when they were at, uh, uh, you know, it was uh, S&P was worth $500 a point, not $50 a point. So it was, I, as I remember, it was four or five days before they finally got it together, as I recall. Right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's it's uh yeah, it was that Monday morning and and the uh you know, all you know, four of the five major brokerage firms were broke bankrupt. But back in those days it took three days to clear because of paper and so they didn't know they were broke yet. Mm -hmm. And and yeah. the Federal Reserve, you know, said we will give you whatever you need. Mm hmm and yeah, so the well. market bottom that Monday. But that that this is a different deal, Larry, because this we have to have clarity on this disease. It's gonna take yeah. it's gonna take time and yeah. and there's there's just no shortcuts, but these politicians have to get it together and you can't oh, be criticizing God. everything that somebody does. And yeah. the, the good thing is is that the US economy is relatively healthy. And it's kinda mm -hmm. like if you get this you know, the, the people that are dying are the ones that are sick. Yeah. But and the, the healthy people, yeah. you know, they're surviving this. Well, that's that's also mm -hmm. true in the economy. We have a strong economy, so we've, we've got to keep it together and, you know, mm -hmm. control your risk and trade smaller. Hey, Rich, thanks for calling in, buddy. We really appreciate it. Rich Anderson, Anderson Capital Management, out of retirement for today. We'll be right back, folks. <laughs> Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed 
designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we just opened the futures, and we're trading at 2550, and we have Arch Crawford on the line, who has... Uh, works for Crawford Perspectives that he's been doing for 40-some years. And as about eight days ago, we sent out a special thing, go 200% short and hang on, as I recall. Is that right, Arch? Something pretty close to that, yeah. <laughs> Great call, my friend. Great call. Now, I wanted to ask you a question, and that is, is this similar to what happened in 9-11, Arch? That's one of our listeners is asking that question. Well, it seems uh, the acting similarly. I remember the market was closed on from 9-11 for three or four days. Uh, five days. We were closed for five trading days. Five trading days. And then mm -hmm. it uh, dropped, um, I think it was 17% in the next four or five trading days. <laughs> Yeah, it was down quite a bit, and then it rallied for a whole month, up to a 61% retracement, and then came down and made a low around uh, December, I believe, it just roughly. But the question the person is asking is, is this the same type of scenario uh, where the Federal Reserve might come in and you know halt uh, halt trading? Do you have any opinion on that? I don't. Um, I know that this is the second morning that they've uh, been – um, lock the limit down before the open. Okay. Wow. And so the, the projection is that they will be, again, stop trading as soon as it opens. Now, let's see what it looks like. It's trading. Mm -hmm. uh, the the E-minis are trading, but the the Dow futures are not, it looks like. Yeah, they, they just started. They, they're trading at 21,008. 250 is what they're trading at right now. Oh, oh my machine hasn't uh, picked it up yet. Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's just still a little crazy. Uh, we have a uh, another question that someone is asking, uh, and that is, have you heard any rumors about the possibility of any of these brokerage firms that could be in trouble or any uh, small banks, large banks, or anything like that? Um, I haven't been in touch. I'm kind of permit and I see whatever what's in Barron's in the Wall Street Journal and Investors Business Daily and I'm not uh, mm -hmm. getting much information on things yeah. like that. Uh, Arch, uh, the Roma mill. Yeah. I'm not in touch totally yeah. with the Roma mill. <laughs> We live, we live about a mile apart, so we have the same rumor mill. Arch, we have a question from someone in Florida. Jim has just called in. Jim, are you there? Yes, I am. Uh, good morning. Um, would this be a good day now that we we've, we've got spot gold at sixteen eleven? So that means your your Saint Gaudens are probably about metal content about fifteen seventy. Good day to go to your local coin dealer and try to buy some physical gold at around fifteen. If you could buy these Saints at fifteen seventy, fifteen ninety. Well, if you uh, if you don't have any, you should definitely buy some. If you have a little, I'd get. I'd up it a little bit, yes. Um, I'm not loading up. I mean, I've been loaded up for a long time, so. <laughs> okay, um, so you're, you're bullish gold. I'm, I'm generally bullish gold. I don't like the action that we're seeing right this minute. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the I other question, do you ever think we'll see, do we think we'll see good. something with uh, platinum coming back? I mean, now we're, we're talking platinum at 808. Dead money. Uh -huh. <clears throat> well, one of the things I found is the, the com in the commodities is that um, the uh, what is the couple of commodities, the, the palladium and that, that platinum, uh, follow the the uh, this car market, 
and that um, a couple of the others follow other things, like the um, hogs follow the food market, and the, um, the there's one of the lumber follows the the building market. So those are things to watch for prediction on the uh, the markets that they're associated with. Okay. And also, I just see here that uh, uh, we're going to have a – when we SPX hits 7 percent, we're going to have a 15-minute trading halt. If we have a 13 percent decline, we're going to get a 15-minute halt and 20 percent uh, – they're going to close it for the day. We're at 6.94 percent on a halt right now, or actually 6.96 percent on the SP, SPX down 190. So we're pretty close to a trading halt mm-hmm. coming here. So thanks for, your, thanks for your input, Arch. It's Always interesting good to hear you. time, buddy. Every day. I mean, uh, I lived through 1987 and predicted it perfectly, the top day before, two weeks before it occurred, and uh, and the crash date on Financial News Network. With I remember, Arch, we were on that same show. Arch, uh, the question that someone's uh, asking us from memory is uh, the first few days after the crash, the 20th and 21st of October, as I recall, the markets were still relatively illiquid in all the uh, financial futures, but all of the other things were were trading normally, uh, as I recall. Do you remember that? Uh, I remember gold was trading pretty good, and so were Treasury bonds. It was just the, the stock index futures that had some illiquidity. That's uh, that's basically what we're what we're looking at. Is that how you remember it? Well, I remember that it was sharply up and down and up and down uh, the next mm-hmm. couple of days. I remember um, on Monday <clears throat> um, it opened down and then it went lower. The next morning it was down another two hundred and fifty in the first fifteen minutes on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. And um, I think that was when Greenspan came in and said, um, anybody from Wall Street that comes in, ask for money, give it to them. Yeah. <laughs> and, and by the time it hit 10 o'clock in the morning, it was back positive 8 or 10 points. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> from 250 down in 15 mm-hmm. minutes. Well, what what is your long term projection here, Art? Someone's asking that question. Well, if you dare to put in a long term projection, I would say this looks like a major long term top to me. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, we're we're way out out of our league on the upside. It just makes no sense where we are. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, it, it takes some kind of incident or, or news event or whatever that triggers people to say, mm-hmm. hey, wait a minute, this thing is, may not go up forever. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, it's a bear market. Yeah, that's for sure. But I, well, I don't, yep. I don't, we may not get back to that high for 26 years like last time. <laughs> like yeah, well, big we need it. We, the two of us, probably. Hey, you got a birthday coming up on April the seventeenth, the same day as old J.P. Morgan, don't you? Yes. Hey, that's good. And then hey, CNBC was founded on that date too. Oh well, wow, that's pretty maybe good to remember. Maybe they did it because of Morgan. I don't. I, maybe they're not all aware well, they, of stuff like that. They, they would have did it because of you, not because of Morgan. Arch, well, thanks for think, thanks sorry. for joining us, buddy. We'll have you on again, hopefully under uh, times when people are not absolutely scared to death. Arch Crawford, folks, Crawford Perspectives. God bless. Thanks a lot, Arch. 877-927-6648. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from 30000 to 75000 
The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in a Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, back, folks. We have the stock futures limit down. We're going to take a look here. This is from the Elliott Way, folks. Uh, they sent this out, and one of our friends was kind enough to forward it on. You'll show the top market was 1975, a Dow Jones hourly showing the different swings. And then on the bottom side was 1977. All I did, folks, was to put in the blue lines there. You know, we're, we don't you know, count the waves the way that they do, but you can see how the market keeps making these three drives to a bottom pattern and the ABCDs, and that's what we base these on, because these patterns are basically for risk control. Uh, they have a pretty good degree of a probability, uh, but the problem is is that the, it's only a probability and never a certainty. So they're good for risk control and for uh, a small degree, well, a little better than small degree of uh, probability of completing. So that's it. What I wanted to show you here is if you look here uh, on this 1977 one, the Dow had hit 1,090, and uh, you'll notice that uh, we had a huge break uh, when the market broke about 25%. That was a long time ago. Remember, into uh, the time when um, I when I was at Drexel, and this is when interest rates were going absolutely uh, crazy to the upside. So that's it. Um, the um, is trading. Uh, sorry, what levels the RTA is trading going back on time? I don't know what that question means, Ruby. Could you be a little bit more? Is this the Russell? Uh, I don't. I really don't follow the Russell at all, Ruby. I'm sorry, um, you know, but that's it. I, I'm sorry. I can't answer that question because I really don't know enough about it to, uh, you know, to really uh, looking at it. So we'll see. The problem with that, uh, Mr. Z, is we covered those shorts at 16.06 and it dropped another $18, but that's okay. Uh, the gold's been acting very bearish, folks. We've been saying that for quite some time. And what was it based on? It was based on the patterns that we look at and. 
also the fact that that open interest had been dropping, folks. When the open interest drops, it means the buyers are leaving the market. And we're seeing uh, the situation happening in Treasury bonds the same way. So if you're in Treasury bonds and you're using that as a flight to quality, be very careful because, uh, you know, these things have dropped 15 handles down from the high. And if it's not going to be a flight to quality, quality, then, uh-oh, there's trouble in River City. So uh, be really careful with this. Watch that. It's going to be uh, very, 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 very important. We, we saw the breakdown in the silver last night. We alerted the folks to that. Uh, probably, I probably should have waited a little bit to try to cover, but I, I look at patterns, and when I see one as clearly as this one, I didn't go long. All I did was, you know, recommend uh, the covering the shorts. The one that really surprises me today, more than anything else, uh, the margin, the, the limit down doesn't surprise me that much because the market was prepped to do that. I mean, we've been, you know, having these thousand, fifteen hundred point swings, and then what happens? Two hours later, it's back down again. My gosh, it was just screaming it, folks. Let, you know, those of you that, uh, you know, sometimes you 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 say to yourself, "All oh, these Fibonacci numbers, maybe they mean something, maybe they don't." But uh, let me just show you something here uh, that that I think is uh, that is really important. Here's yesterday's trading range, folks, with the Dow down uh, 1,600 points. This is the S&P, okay? We had a high uh, on the intermarket went early in the morning at 2840, the overnight high. This was, the, this was the rally back. We rallied back about 50, 60 handles, but the overnight high had been 2883. But this was the mid-morning high, and if you'll notice that the rally back uh, was, which was equal to the rally between 8 and 9 o'clock, rallied back uh, 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 60, 60 handles, stopped exactly at the 382 retracement. Not one tick above it, not two ticks above it, but the exact 61, 38% retracement, which was also the 61% retracement of the 12 o'clock high. And it stayed there for well over three hours. It, it was trading at 20 excuse me, at 27.35 uh, when the president started to speak. And as soon as he got the words, uh, Europe is blockaded, uh, this thing dropped like a rock. Okay, the buy in silver. I posted that, Michael, so you'll take a look at it. Uh, I believe if you can get silver uh, down at that level, we'll bring it up here so you can see it again because I think it's important. I will certainly be watching to be a buyer at that point, and all I have to do is find the chart again, shut the front door, and raise the rent. This might be it. There we go. Let's get this up here. Here's the price I'm seeing on silver. You'll see. Um, that's at uh, 15.10 an ounce. We're trading. Uh, we're not very far away. So uh, that's what I would be looking. That's a big ABCD. So um, you know, we've always said uh, you know we start buying silver at 14 bucks, and you should always have some silver rounds, especially with the way things are going right now, because you need some uh, have have enough food in the house to get your water you've got okay and electricity and all this other stuff. And this would be a good time to maybe we'll do some learning. If they shut down the markets, we'll do a, a webinar here at the TFNN Tiger Den, and we'll, we'll talk about the markets and history and stuff like that because it's always a good thing to do. Uh, one of the questions someone asked me, one of the biggest benefits uh, of wh why it was so much fun working at Drexel, and that was the fact that uh, the people there were very nice. Uh, we, uh, we had... Uh, on our, on our, on, we were on the ground floor. Two, three, and four were covered by Mike Milken's group, and we had uh, we had 22 brokers, retail brokers there. There were two lady brokers, uh, Adora Chan, and. Uh, Theodora, what was Theodora? Theodora, I can't remember her last name. And then we had of, of those of those 22, there were 20 Jewish brokers and two uh, Goyas, non-Jews. And then there was the commodity department, which consisted of myself, uh, Jim Twentyman, and Ernie Mossman, who was also a stockbroker, but he helped us out on commodities when we were when we were busy or whether we took some time off. So that was the uh, the main thing that uh, to remember. But the biggest perk that you had at Drexel was no matter what you needed whether it was a sports ticket, whether it was a, a, a special thing uh, at uh, a, a 
a, a concert, theater tickets, whatever it was, they were always available. And uh, all you had to do was produce. <laughs> and every, you, you didn't get in that group unless you produced. And they, they were really nice about it. They didn't. Uh, I remember that they said to me when I first started working, and I didn't know anything. I wasn't a broker. They gave me the whole, you know, made me, gave me the test. They basically passed it for me. They said, look, our people are accustomed to losing money, and they're accustomed to making money. He said, the one thing we're not accustomed to is losing all the money. So as long as you do it, that don't do that he said you'll you'll be okay so the biggest perk of all and that was the number one was uh, Roy Disney had his account there with his daughter Lori and uh, who was very sick all the time she died very young I think at 27 or 28 but um, being the Disney's they had uh, access to Walt Disney's private club right above the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean where he was going to live his last days and they converted that into a little uh, special dining room and museum and it was all private it was not open to the public you had to you know had to be uh, one of the chosen few and Drexel was that so if you did something really good or you needed something really special and you had a birthday you could take your kids there and Mickey Mouse and Pluto and the whole gang would come out and uh, you would uh, get to meet all of them it was really uh, looks pretty good yes the, the beans are limit down those of you that are still short the meal hang in there folks it looks like it's going to go a whole lot lower that that broke from the very beginning beginning and uh, we'll watch that uh, very closely the only uh, positions we covered the uh, the short goal this morning those of you that are in this the um, um, in the um stock indices uh, in the S&P we recommended uh, to cover at 2550 that's when the open limit down so we're we're covering that trade right here maybe it goes lower but we believe in ABCD so that's what we're doing here so let's keep the faith live every day in an attitude of gratitude stay tuned for a little wind up and 877-927-6648 I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. 
Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted uh, what the prediction could possibly be for today. Uh, you, I'll just show you the one from uh, last night here, and we'll just see if we can... Uh, Oh, dear. I, I hope I kept it. Shut the front door. Maybe not. No, I did not. But it did pretty good, as I recall. Oh, dear. Uh, anyway, uh, we're going to be down. This is going to be our biggest down day in points in the stock market. If, we, if we're down more than 16% uh, today, that would be equal to the crash of uh, 1987. And that means the Dow is going to be down about 4,000 points. I don't think that's going to happen. But you know, if it does, uh, in 87, uh, it was a big buying opportunity. So, uh, you know, don't get too bearish in here, folks, because, you know, we've had a we've had the big move down here. You know, oh, here's one. that This is uh, this is the one that I, I this is really important one, too. This is why I posted it this morning. A look at the Nasdaq. Let's see if it's if it's anywhere near. Are we near uh, 7350 in the Nasdaq as of yet? Could someone uh, uh, give me a handle on that? Because that's going to be a real interesting interesting target to look at these others and the Dow is the Dow Jones Industrials trading at uh, 22,000 is it uh, it's 7417 okay wow 7323 so that's uh that's uh, pretty pretty close to that number. Yeah, it's already below it. Okay, well, how about the Dow Jones itself? Is the Dow Jones trading at twenty one thousand or twenty two thousand? I I don't know where the actual Dow is because when I do this show, I can't uh, I can't watch the prices at the same time because it's uh, it changes my thinking. So we'll look at it. Twenty one. So it's five hundred points below it. Yeah, that's about right. Well, we're we're uh, they're going to be giving prices away here, but they could go a whole lot. Uh, a whole lot worse uh, as they keep going through the day. So that's what I'm looking at. So I want you folks to live every day in an attitude of gratitude. Remember, and live every day that you're lucky and do something for people that don't have as much as you do. And this will all pass, folks. It always has and it always will because we live in an absolute fabulous country and we're just being attacked by these little bugs. That we'll get those little rascals. So just be patient. 